a lot of what we, we would do is, uh, as a management team would be, you could play your good guy, bad guy routine and literally change people from being a waitress into a dancer by that. What you would do is wait until you see the girl with a new car, a new apartment, new furniture, and then tell her that she no longer has a job because you don't need waitresses. But yet, it's okay if you want to dance, plus you'll make more money. And you don't want to lose your new car. You don't want to lose all these people you're friends with now. So why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you dance? Uh, another one is, you know, you can take them to dinner, explain to them that you're short on amateur contestants that night, that they don't have to take their clothes off, at least just get on stage, you need the extra body, and make them feel guilty for not doing it because you're their friend. They want to make you happy. They want to please you. Everybody in the whole world, and this includes the person who was brought up in a Christian home, this includes the person who was brought up with money, this includes the person who was brought up with no money. They want to feel needed. They want to feel wanted. What my job was, was to find out what made them feel, what made them want, and what I could fulfill of those needs in order to get them to do what I wanted them to do. A lot of what I would do is on a weekly basis, I would talk to every one of the people that worked for me and I would keep it on tape and I would review it to see if I was doing what needed to be done to keep that person towing the line. Uh, I would have mandatory meetings to where I would talk about such trivial things as how much toilet paper they could use just in order to let them know that if you can't make a decision on how much toilet paper to use, how could you ever make a decision to leave? They became totally dependent on the club due to the hours that they would work. If they're working from 9 in the morning till 4 in the morning or from noon till 4 in the morning, they no longer live in a culture that you and I live in. They live in a subculture and really don't exist and intertwine with any of the things that we see as reality. Their reality is totally different than ours. If the club was to go away, then their friends would be gone, their income would be gone, their personal life would be gone because they'd have no apartment, no car. Literally, if that, they did not have that club, they would have no life.